Hi folks, welcome back to lesson three of learning Irish traditional flute with me, Rachel. Um, today we're going to be doing a good recap lesson of all of our notes and the last tunes we did in the last lesson two, Happy Birthday. If you haven't watched that, go back and watch it. Um, and we'll also be focusing on moving higher up the scale on the flute. So first things first, which I always do when I start my flute to ever practice or anything, I just go up and down the scale. So we're going to do that together. And um, we're going to go from D, six fingers down, to higher E, which is five fingers down, but blown harder, as I've taught in the other lessons. So we're going to do that. We're going to go up to E, and then we're going to go back down, holding each note for about three seconds each. If you want to stop here and do it yourself and warm up, go ahead, or just go on with me here. One, two, three. Now, if you can do that along with me, great. If not, stop here and keep going over and over again. If you need to stop and take a break down the middle of those notes, don't worry about it. And practice makes perfect in that case of breathing. So, in the last lesson, we did Happy Birthday and I had the notes on the screen. Um, I'll put them back up here if you don't have them anymore. And I'll just put them in here. Now we're going to play a happy birthday together. If you want to stop here and go over your notes from the last day, go on ahead. But I'm going to play it straight through and then I'll divide it into two lines at a time. One, two, three. <laughs> Right, now I'm going to play the first two lines and then the second two lines. And play along with me now, so I'm going to do the first two lines. One, two, three. Okay, now if you can't do those two, go back and go over them again yourself. Now we're going to play the second two lines. One, two, three. Okay, now we're going to play it all together one more time. One, two, three. Good. Right, now we're going to go over the notes. And we're going to go and play the higher octave. So, first note is D. That's the first note that I taught on this flute. All six fingers down. Now, these two bottom holes here, just forget about them. You don't need them for a very, very long time. Now, six fingers down, play D. Now, we're going to play high D, which you know is the B finger off, the first finger. Now we're going to play them into each other, D and then high D, back to D and high D. One, two, three. Now we're going to play E, so five fingers down. And then we're going to play high E, which is just blown a bit harder. Now we're going to do the same thing again, low E to high E, and then back to low E and high again. One, two, three. Okay, 
now we're going to do the same with F. F, high F, and the same again. One, two, three. Now we haven't played high F before, and you'll notice that it'll be need a little bit more puff than you have needed for high D and high E. So the less fingers you are covering, the more air you're going to need to come out of here and here. So these three ones as well as just the two in the bottom. So more puff and the higher you go, G, A and B, and the more puff needed. So today we're just going to do F and G. I'm focusing on E and D, which we've done before, but just recapping them, but introducing high F and high G. And I think we'll do a new high note every lesson or two because it'll take a while for you to get the lower notes anyway. And if we just keep the high notes coming at a steady pace, but not too fast for you, then it will not overwhelm you and we can work through tunes that don't include the higher notes we haven't done yet. And then by the end of these lessons, I hope that you can play the whole scale on the Irish traditional flute in the key of D, obviously. Now we're going to do high G. So normal G, three fingers down. And then the higher octave of G, just blowing harder again. One, two, three. Okay, so now we're going to do low G, high G, and again, twice in a row. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, and sometimes it takes a little bit of a blow, and sometimes I don't even get it right myself. But when you're in a tune, usually it will come easy enough. Uh, it is just working out that particular amount of breath that you need, and obviously. I never really covered this in my lessons, but you're not blowing into the flute. So the top hole here, you're not blowing into that hole, you're blowing over it. I'm going to do a scale, very short, D to high G. Then four high notes that we covered there. So D, E, F and G, okay, together. Three notes, like we always do in our scales. Hold each note for about three seconds, okay? One, two, three. I can hear that I'm blowing a bit harder and you might be able to hear that I'm blowing a bit harder as I go up the scale but if you blow too hard you'll get a squeak just like the tin whistle so just keep practicing practicing I know I've probably said this about 10 times over the course of my lessons so far that practice makes perfect yes maybe the tin whistle might be a bit of an easier instrument because the blowing you just blow into the top of it you just have to control your amount but in the flute it's different because you're not just blowing into a hole so um yes practice makes perfect and just keep going and trying your best now we're going to do our scale that we usually do from six low d up until but instead of just to e we're going to do it to g so there are going to be our notes now that we've covered okay so each note for three seconds and take a breath if you want i'll take a breath and then from b to c so that you can take a breath too okay so one two So that might be a bit too many notes for some of you to go back down but if you want to go back down go ahead i'm going to do it here and we can do it together if you're able to if not stop the video here and go over the new notes that we have and our old ones if you feel like you need to okay so now that you're back from that we will do those notes together but going up to g and then back down to d okay one two three <laughs>
okay now that's a really good exercise for you to do every time you start one of my lessons or anytime you're practicing yourself now in that there we scale we're playing c sharp and you cannot forget about your c natural because it occurs in many different tunes as well so we're playing c sharp no fingers and um c natural is your a and your g second and third fingers down but leaving your b your first finger off so we'll just play that together for about four or five seconds to work on your breathing one two three now i'm not gonna lie the two c's are quite early if you want to say notes and sometimes they sound a bit risky but um, yes, just practice makes perfect. Again, keep working on them. And when you're doing your scale and including C sharp, don't forget at the end to just do a wee C natural on so. Okay, now to conclude this video, we're going to run over happy birthday one more time. I know this video might have appeared as a bit of the same as lesson two, but um, repeating things in lessons will make you repeat things at home. Maybe if you aren't doing as much practice as you should have been. But um, yes, we're going to go over happy birthday one more time and then that will be the end of the lesson. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in lesson four. Thank you. One, two, three. <laughs>